Good morning from Manuel Antonio in Costa Rica. It is just past 6.30 and the reason that we are having such an early start is so that we can go to the famous Manuel Antonio National Park. We've been advised to go early in the morning because apparently the weather can turn in the afternoon, which is exactly what we experienced yesterday. So we're taking that to heart. Looking forward to seeing a bunch of animals, but first in order to get there, we need to go grab a bus. So let's crack on. in the park now it's about 18 us dollars for entry we booked about five days in advance and you can do that online and that is really what we would recommend because they do sell out pretty quickly here and just so you know you cannot bring food or drinks into the park you are allowed to bring water but not in plastic bottles just here and saw a bunch of animals including monkeys and sloths and crabs and everything else and we found ourselves here which is like the main meeting area and souvenir shop and stuff what we're planning on doing is doing everything in a bit of a loop so we're going to try and go across here which combs a beach and then come back to here and then back onto the boardwalks where we initially started before coming back to the entrance of the park I personally didn't want to talk while we were on the trail. I was really afraid of scaring the animals and the most important thing for me coming here was to see a sloth. We saw tons of monkeys and don't get me wrong, they're very cool, but we've been very lucky to see them around the world. And my number one animal that I really wanted to see was a sloth. And I'm just so happy we got to see them. They are crazy slow moving. Like it looks like super slow motion. I don't know if Nick is going to have to like speed it up to make it worthwhile seeing in the video or not. Oh, and I can't get over how furry they are too. Absolutely. It's amazing to see. I think they're probably about the same size as a koala from the looks of them, but they move so much slower. It's almost like they were animatronic. It just didn't feel real to look at them, but a real collector's item for here.
of the beaches that are located in Manuel Antonio National Park and they are absolutely stunning. Perfect white sand beaches. It's fine sand so it would be so comfortable to lay out on for the entire day and they are expansive. Like of course there are other people around but you have so much space to spread out. You kind of feel like you have this place to yourself and all of this plus seeing so many animals all for $18 US to me, this is just such great value for money. After having visited the beach, we're now taking an extra lap around the same trail just because Rachel wanted to see more sloths. And of course, so do I. We'll do a little bit more of that, hopefully see a little bit more wildlife and then probably head home. The sloth that we did see was the same one as we saw before, but this time there was better lighting and it was just scratching this time. So, you know, even if we don't see more sloths, seeing the same one for a second time was so worth it. <laughs> We've completed our second circuit and we're now back at the beach. And one thing to note is that we did see a lot of animals by ourselves. However, if you're having trouble spotting any, then there is a trail that runs parallel to the boardwalk. And on this rocky trail, that's where a lot of the tour groups go. So if you just kind of follow along discreetly, then you'll be able to see where all the tour groups have stopped and you'll be able to spot wildlife that way. As I said, we saw everything by ourselves except for one bird that a tour group spotted. So I don't really think a tour is necessary, but I'm glad we did the second loop because we actually ended up seeing one more sloth. Now we're going to take a bit of a dip before I think we're going to then head out. Mm -hmm. Before the weather turns, although right now it's hard to imagine that the weather will turn, but we saw that happen yesterday. <laughs> That water was the perfect temperature. Could not have asked for a better place to go and dip. And the great thing is around here, there's even more animals to see. So we got to see a few more monkeys, a couple of sloths and some other birds and crabs and all that kind of stuff. This has been an absolute gem. I'm so glad that we made the journey down here. This just has to be on your list if you're coming to Costa Rica. <laughs> and trying to get our change together for the bus because it's 380 colonas per person. We didn't have enough small change and the bill we had was 10,000. So we were trying to ask one of the tour guides if we can just exchange the bill at the money exchange there for smaller bills. And he was like, oh, I can try and help you out. And he was like, oh, I have two 5,000 colonas bills, but that won't help you. And then he was just like, you know what? Here's a thousand colonas. Just take it. And I cannot get over the generosity. So now it's our job to pay that forward. We are now back. We've just spent the last couple of hours doing some work and that has worked up a bit of an appetite. So we are going to head to a local restaurant, also known as a soda to try some Costa Rican cuisine. Okay, so we have gone for a traditional Costa Rican dish. This is called pastel. And it consists, generally speaking, of rice, black beans, plantains, div, salad, some tortilla, and then your choice of protein. We've opted for the cheaper one, which is eggs, and we've got those scrambled, and that comes with chili sauce and free tap water. So we're gonna enjoy this. Um, nom, 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 oh, nom, 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 nom. As you can see, that was disgusting, we hated it. 
For 5,400 kilometers, which equates to probably about 14, 15 Canadian dollars, that was a very substantial meal and it was definitely worth the extra day on the budget to enjoy. Well worth enjoying. Since we got back from our late lunch, Nick has been diligently editing away. And then he realized that we forgot to close out the video. It has been a truly magnificent day. And I think probably the best thing about it is that the weather surprisingly held out. It was forecast to be torrential in the same way as yesterday, but there's nothing but clear skies and sun to the point where we're a bit redder than usual. So we can hope for more of the same, but probably with a bit more sunscreen. Until next time though, take care. And keep smiling.